In this next section, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step assembly of your model. Depending on how familiar you are with our models and how quickly you work, you can hit fast forward and speed through this assembly. If you've never put together a Getting Nerdy model, expect to go through this entire tutorial in anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes. If you followed our advice from earlier and downloaded and printed off the instructions of the student PDF, you'll have everything you need to follow along this next portion of the tutorial. I'm literally going to read the instructions word for word. Again, you can speed this part up if you're familiar with our models. The glue dots you received in your envelope come in perforated sheets of 12 dots. The glue dots team has been kind enough to provide us with instructions on how to use their glue dots. Take a moment to read the instructions provided here. Press pause if you need to. Number one. Find the four ventral appendages for your cat. Apply glue to the back of each ventral appendage, A1, A2, A3, and A4, and align it to the back of the matching dorsal appendage. When attached properly, you should be able to see the top and bottom surface of each leg. In cases where you see a little bit of the vinyl has torn along the edges of the model, you can always use a hobby knife or a pair of scissors to clean that up. Number two. Apply glue to the back of the tabs and attach the forelimb and hindlimb skin flaps by tabs A12 and A42 over the exposed muscles on A1 and A4. You should be able to lift the flaps and see the muscles beneath. Number 3. Find the head dorsal and head ventral pieces. Apply glue to the back of one of the pieces and align them front to back so that you can see both the top of the head and the inside of the mouth. Number four. Find the dorsal head muscles. Apply glue to the back of the tab on head dorsal 1 and attach the muscle flap by head dorsal 1 over the exposed brain on top of the head dorsal. You should be able to cover and expose the brain when attached properly. Number 5. Find the brain flap. Apply glue to the back of the tab head dorsal 2 and attach the brain flap over the dorsal head muscles on top of head dorsal 1. When applied correctly, the brain flap should cover the brain case. Number 6. Find the internal jaw and ventral jaw vessels. Apply glue to the back of the internal jaw and align it to the back of ventral jaw vessels. When attached properly, you should be able to see both the vessels of the underside of the neck and the inside of the mouth. Number 7. Find the ventral jaw muscles. Apply glue to the tab jaw ventral 2 and attach the muscle flap over the exposed vessels on top of jaw ventral 1. You should be able to cover and expose the neck structures when attached properly. Number 8. Find the ventral jaw skin flap. Apply glue to the back of the tab jaw ventral 3 and attach the skin flap over the ventral jaw muscles on top of jaw ventral 2. When applied correctly, the skin flap should cover the jaw muscles. Number 9. Find the glottis. Apply glue to the top of the tab M and fold it under. Is your glue dot too big for the tab? 
No worries. You can easily change the size of your glue dots by cutting them in half and even quarters for smaller tabs. Attach the glottis by tab M over M on the tongue on the internal jaw. It should point toward the opening to the trachea when applied properly. Number 10. Attach the assembled lower jaw to the upper internal jaw. Apply glue to the tab of jaw internal and align it over the internal jaw and attach to the head internal tab. When attached properly, you should be able to open and close the mouth of the cat. Number 11. Find the dorsal and ventral tail pieces. Apply glue to the back of the dorsal tail and align it over the ventral tail. When attached properly, you should be able to see both the dorsal and ventral surfaces of the tail of the cat. Number 12. Find the dorsal torso of your cat. On the dorsal surface, locate the dotted lines around the edges that ask you to insert the assembled head, tail, and appendages. Turn the dorsal torso over and apply glue to those areas of the torso. Place each assembled structure on the appropriate place, paying attention to the placement of the ventral and dorsal surfaces. Apply glue over the entire torso, including the tabs of the newly attached head and appendages. Find the ventral torso. Align the ventral torso over the dorsal torso. When applied correctly, you should have a fully assembled cat with a head, tail, and appendages, and no tabs should be visible. Number 13. Determine the gender of your cat. If your cat is male, locate the testes. If your cat is female, locate the ovaries. Number 14. Apply glue to the back of the tab R1 of the appropriate reproductive organs and align them over tab R on the ventral torso. The organs should lie inside the body. Number 15. Find the kidneys. Apply glue to the top of the tab and fold it under. Attach the kidneys by tab K1 over K on the ventral torso. You should not be able to see the tab when applied properly. Number 16. Find the liver. Apply glue to the top of the tab and fold it under. Attach the liver by tab L1 over L on the digestive organs. You should not be able to see the tab when applied properly. Number 17. Find the lungs. Apply glue to the back of the tab O2 and align it over tab O1 of the digestive organs. Number 18. Find the heart. Apply glue to the top of the two tabs H1 and fold them under. Attach the heart by tabs H1 over tabs H on the ventral torso. You should not be able to see the tabs when applied properly and the heart should lie inside the torso cavity. Number 19. Flip the heart up so it lies along the chin of the cat. Find the digestive organs with lungs and liver attached. Apply glue to the top of the tab O2 and fold it under. Attach the digestive organs by tab O2 over tab O on the ventral torso. You should not be able to see the tab and the digestive organs should lie inside the torso cavity. Number 20. Locate the rib cage. Cut the rib cage in half on the dark line down the center. Apply glue to the top of each tab S1 and fold it under. Attach the appropriate side to S on the ventral torso. You should not be able to see the tabs 
and you should be able to open and close the rib cage to view the organs underneath when attached properly. Number 21. Locate the external skin, deep, and superficial muscles. Cut the external skin and superficial muscles in half on the solid line down the center. There is only one side of deep muscles. For the left side, apply glue to tabs T3A3 and T2A2 and layer them over flaps T1A1 such that the external skin is on top, followed by the superficial muscles and then the deep muscles on the bottom. For the right side, apply glue to tabs T2A2 and attach them over T1A1. Locate the abdominal muscle flap. Apply glue to the back of the tab AM1 and align it over tab AM on the deep muscle flap. You should be able to lift the flap and see the transverse abdominal muscles underneath. Number 22. Apply glue to the top of the tabs T3A3 for both sides of the assembled muscle skin flaps and fold them under. Attach them by tabs T3A3 to tabs A and T on the ventral torso. You should not be able to see the tabs when applied properly, and you should be able to open and close the muscles to view the rib cage and deep muscles underneath. Number 23. If your cat is male, find the external skin flap with the penis and scrotum. If your cat is female, find the external skin flap with the urogenital aperture and vulva. Apply glue to the top of the tabs R2 of the appropriate external reproductive organ and fold it under. Align the tab over tab R1 of the internal reproductive organs. You should not be able to see the tab and the external reproductive organs should lie over the closed skin flaps. Voila! Your cat model is complete. You can use this as a study tool to prepare for your exploration or as a virtual dissection in place of the real thing. It's getting nerdy with Mel and Gertie. Get ready for fun. Get ready for learning. Inspire your students in an interactive way. Life science.